Okay. Hello, how's everyone doing? I'm Mr. May, so I'm the executive director and DJ consultant for Master Mix Academy, which is on my t-shirt. All right. This is Mr. Sale, DJ Sale. He's the board director, one of the board members, and DJ and science consultant also. Oh, you just come on in. If you could sign in right over here. Come right on in. Okay. So today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what the program is all about, and we're going to do some remix and production. Okay? So we're a DJ and music production youth development program, and we focus on the science and technology behind DJ performing arts and pro audio DJ equipment. Does anyone know what a DJ is? You should know that's your dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. It's someone who remixes music. Right. And transition music, but the acronym stands for disc jockey. Okay? So the most important thing to understand as a DJ, let me get you two to come and sit right up here. Most important thing to understand as a DJ is to understand how sound travels. Does anyone know how sound travels? Anybody took science? Okay. Uh, sound, sound waves? Sound waves, right? But it travels in vibrations. So molecule particles in the air travel in vibrations and waves, as she said, but in vibrations, which you can't see. You can't see sound, but you can interpret where sound is coming from, from sound reflection. So the molecules in the air, they come and then they hit your ear and that's how you get sound, okay? So sound travels in vibrations, all right? A couple of things that, that's really important with what we're gonna do today with remix DJ production is you need to understand what type of software that you're using. So we're using a software from a manufacturer called Native Instruments uh, Tractor Scratch Pro, okay? Now, Tractor Scratch Pro is called a DAW. So all of your production and your remix software is a DAW. So DAW stands for digital, so we're going to say it together. Digital, digital. Audio, 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 workstation. workstation. And that would be all of this right here. All this stuff right here. It's just software. This controls everything. So in order to get the sound out and do all the tricks and things that you want to do with it, which you're remixing, what do you need to use? You gotta use a device, right? Right? Yeah. So these are some of the devices that you can use. This is a native instrument device, and it's called the Tractor F1. And it's a MIDI device. So MIDI signals go to the digital audio workstation and create sound. Now MIDI stands for, and we're going to say this all together, music, music instrument, instrument, digital, digital interface. interface. All right? And your MIDI signal will allow the software to create sound. So it's all virtual. And we're dealing with electronic music. OK? So. Right here, we have the Tractor F1. Right here, this can be used for remixing. This is a Native Instruments project, uh, I'm sorry, device also, and it's called a Machine Macro, okay? And it's also a MIDI device. So what is MIDI? Come on, Music, music. instrument, digital, digital. That's almost digital, Digital, interface, let's say it again. Music, <laughs> instrument, because it's, we're treating it as an instrument, right? So it's music, instrument, digital, because everything's digital, and this is your interface, okay? And that's your interface. So music, instrument, digital interface connects to Digital, 
Digital, what does the A stand for? Audio workstation. Okay? So we're going to do it one more time. <laughs> MIDI signals go to digital audio workstation. MIDI stands for music, <laughs> instrument, <laughs> digital <laughs> interface. All right? But to keep it short, I just wanted you to know what the acronym stands for. And DAW stands for what? Digital Audio Workstation. So now that you know that, you can just say DAW or DAW, or you can say me. All right? But I had to explain it to you. All right, so here we have our remix deck on Track to Scratch Pro. Each remix deck has these little circles right here, and those are called samples. And when you're remixing, you have to create samples to go into your decks. Sometimes they come in sample packs that you might not have to create that come with the software. And these are the different sample packs here, okay? Now, once I load it up, each one of those, each one of the, the channels is a MIDI signal, or it's a sample. So if I hit this one, scroll down, you have, this one doesn't have any one shots in here, but I can go here and drag this over. Now I have more samples here, but I have to go shift to the second deck, deck B. Now I'm going to control the second deck. Now remember, we can't see sound itself because sound travels in vibrations and molecule particles and we can't see molecules, right? Okay? But we're able to see here the audio wave files. All right? So all of these are audio wave files. So these are your samples with a circle dot. The arrows are one shots. So one shots would be just one hit. So I'm going to hit it one time. I can hit it. Okay. So that's the cool part about that. Now with this. As DJ Cell, he's going to show you, you can do remixes while you're actually DJing in front of an audience. So if you got two turntables or if you have two decks on the uh, digital audio workstation, you can do all your remixes live. Okay? Any questions so far? Am I going too fast? Don't be afraid to ask if you have any questions. No questions. Yeah. Okay. Now, in order to move forward, one thing to understand about doing remixes so you won't be all over the place, you have to understand the difference between a bar and a measure. Bars and measures are pretty much the same thing. But in electronic music with remixing that we're going to do today, we're going to use a 4-4 four, four time signature. So we're going to count together. It's just four beats. One, two, three, four. 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 Stay on beat. One, two, three, four. Keep going all the way around. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, 
if I turn these channels down, I won't get any sound. But you have to have channels up. So, that's important to understand when you're doing your remix. Because when you come up here, every time I count, when I go one, two, three, four, on one, you're going to hit one of the samples. Okay? One of the sample pads. All right? Now, most of the time, your bass drum is on one. The snare drum might be on two or four in electronic music. With live instruments, you can be anywhere. The tempo goes up and down. So does anyone know what a BPM is? What does BPM stand for? OK. Beats? Oh, wait. Oh, you come on up. Do you know what that? You must know who's whispering. Yeah. Tell <laughs> <laughs> What's beat for you? Beats per minute. Excellent. Hands together for the young man right. back there. Beats per minute. And beats per minute is for what, sir? What, what is it for? Um, it's going slow. It's going fast. It's going tempo, right? So beats per minute equals tempo. So slow tempo can be anywhere from most of your hip hop nowadays, uh, 75 to 95, or 75 to 107, mid tempo 107 to 118, fast tempo 118, all the way up to maybe 135, okay? Most of your house music is kind of up tempo, and most of your newer hip hop it depends. And some of it is mid-tempo, slow-tempo. It depends. But that's important to understand because you want everything to link in together. Okay? All right. So that would be your remix. Now we're going to talk a little bit about something called remix and production. Okay? So that's remixing on the fly. Now we're going to talk a little bit about another device, which is this device, and this is the machine, and it's a MIDI device, and machine is a native instrument device also, and it's used for production and creative remixes, all right, but mainly a lot of people use it for more electronic music and creating, creating devices. You can do some mastering on here too, so. Anybody know what mastering means? That's more like most of your engineers, your mastering engineers, or your studio engineers. They take before you grab something off of uh, iTunes or purchase a track off of iTunes, they take the music, they rip it down, and they add reverbs to it and enhance the sound so when you get it, it sounds nice and clean. Okay? So that's called a mastering engineer. All right. So, we got a bank here. We have all of our sounds over here. We got our drum kits over here. We got our samples, effects. Then over here we have our scenes where you can arrange music. So, you have different types of arrangements you can do. You always will start off with an intro and then go into a verse and a chorus. And all of that. But that's a whole nother class. There, so. All right? You got your bars up here. You got your what? Your BPMs, which stands for what, sir? <laughs> BPM. BPM. Beats per minute. Mm -hmm. Right. Why don't you come up here? Because <laughs> you're going to be the first one to come up. No, come here. Come on, your peers want you to join. What's your name? Seth. Seth? Seth. Seth. I'm Dave. Okay? All right. So, yeah. Have a yeah, seat. Right I'm sorry. Be careful. Let me mark that down for you. Okay. All right. So, I have some samples loaded up here already, just for the sake of time. And the first thing I need to do is pull a sample. I'm going to pull. I'm going to use this sample. 
picture right here. I'm going to have to edit the sample a little bit. So now you see this big, long wave file. All right? Now, before we were talking about bars and measures, so we're going to have to count and see how long this wave file is or this sample. So we're going to count together, okay? You guys ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. So that's four bars, right? So there's four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now how many bars we got up here? We just got one, right? So we need to change that. But the important thing to understand with remixing with this particular software is that you need to make sure that your BPMs are the same in your arrangement as it is in your bank. So what's this, 95? And up here is 120. So that's way off, right? So we're going to have to change this. Since you're right here, why don't you type in 95 right here? Type in 95. Nine. Five. Okay, we all say. All right, you stay right there. Okay, so now we should be okay. So we're going to go here and we're going to load it into bank one. And you see how the bars change? Now we have one, two, three, four bars. Here. And it should go back to the loop. Okay, you got that. Now I'm going to start using this device right here. stay on beat for what you're doing, okay, when you're recording. So it's going to give me four counts. One, two, three, four. Once you get all of your elements, of course, over here, you would have to label what everything is so you can remember it. You can color code it and things of that sort. Now I can go to the arrangement, right click, I can duplicate, right click, duplicate, and I can start arranging. And I take this back, and then 
is Lena Stone. Let us sing it again. production. You grab the sample first, then you can add a drum kit, and then you can add additional sounds to it. You can go on and on and on and on and on. All right, time for some hands on. We got that stuff out the way, right? Because you guys look like you're going to fall asleep, <laughs> right? Okay, so we're going to have... How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take five over here, and everybody else can come over here. But we're going to go in a rotation, okay? So everybody will get a chance to try everything we're doing. Okay, what I'm doing will be over here. Everything he's doing. I'm going to go down here. I'll create.